Some people say that right here, this is the quietest and coldest air conditioning unit that you can put in your window. And just look at it. How cool is this that you can open the window? This is a U-shaped air conditioner. And also people say that it can replace a mini split. A lot of reviews out there, they're showing the 12,000 BTU. This is a smaller unit, the 8,000 BTU, supposed to cover around 350 square feet. The air that comes out of this is quite cold. In this video, I'll show you how to install this, how, well, how easy it is to install this, how you can do it yourself, and how it works. And also, I'll be taking some sound readings with this decibel meter to see how loud it, or I guess how quiet. It just goes to show that you can have a bed right beside it and it's pretty quiet. It won't, it won't disturb your sleep. Anyway, just let, let's just get started. Let's get started. And before I begin, this is not a sponsored video. I paid for this air conditioner. I wanted to find out which one was the quietest and coldest. I think I found it. This 8000 BTU Medea air conditioner is said to be nine times quieter than your usual air conditioner. It's because of its U-shaped design allowing you to close the window and essentially block the compressor noise which sounds as low as 32 decibels and we'll be checking that out a little bit later. Another thing that's good about this air conditioner is you don't lose your window function. You can open your window anytime to let fresh air in even with the air conditioner installed. This AC unit also has smart control voice with Google Assistant and Alexa or control from anywhere using the app on iOS or Android. And it's more energy efficient inverter technology. Just like an inverter generator, it increases energy savings by more than 35%. Now let's install this thing. All right, so first things first, we need to prep the window. Go ahead and remove the screen. Just slide or pop it out, depending on your window type and set it aside. We need the space, obviously, to set up the AC unit. What's nice about this AC unit is the reason that it's so quiet is because of the way it's made. The part that is loud, which is what creates the cold air from the AC unit, is outside. And then you close the window and the part where the air shoots out is inside. So that is quite a different type of design. It's a U-shaped design. And it's not only to be able to still use your window, it's also to keep the room quiet. Now we're going to set up the support brackets. Insert the support brackets through the open window and gently place it on the windowsill. This bracket is going to hold the AC unit in place. Adjust the sidebar by pushing in the pins and sliding them to fit the width of the window. Make sure the bracket is centered on the sill. The support bracket is crucial for holding the weight of the AC unit. Centering it ensures that the weight is evenly distributed, preventing any imbalance that could cause the unit to tilt or fall. The adjustable sidebar allows the bracket to fit various window sizes, making it versatile solutions for different installations. Once you have your support a bracket in position. It's now time to grab your drill and drill a couple of pilot holes where the bracket meets the windowsill. Drilling a pilot hole is not necessary, but it makes it easier to drive screws into the wood, reducing the risk of splitting the windowsill. It also ensures that the screws go in straight, providing a more secure hold to the bracket. Next is securing the bracket. Take the half inch screws from the kit and screw them into the pilot hole. If your windowsill is flat without a lip, use the hole on the support arm to screw the bracket directly into the sill. This will keep the bracket firmly in place. But since we have a lip on our windowsill, this is not necessary and for most people it won't be necessary if you have newer windows. But for older windows, this might be something that you will need to do to have the unit more secure. And now let's adjust the angle supports. These help stabilize the AC unit against the side of your house. Remove the pin, slide the arm on the track and set them to the correct length. We want the bracket to be slightly tilted downward away from the house. This ensures proper condensation drainage. If you don't really feel like eyeballing it like I'm doing, you can also use a level. The bubble should be just slightly off center towards the house side. Now it's time to lift up the AC unit and place it into place. And as you can see, this is a two person job. And yeah, you should ask for help because this unit is, is heavy, but the 12,000 BTU is even heavier. 
make sure the AC is centered and the window can slide down into the U-shape without any obstruction. As I said earlier, this design lets you open and close the window even with the AC installed. Next, we need to anchor the AC unit to the support bracket. Use the provided brackets and screw to attach the unit to the bracket. Make sure to do this on both sides for a secure fit. Now it's time to install the foam insulation to seal those gaps. Measure the gap between the AC unit and the window frame. Add a quarter inch to this measurement for a snug fit, which is important for maintaining efficiency of the AC unit. Cut the foam blocks to size using a sharp razor blade or a retractable knife. These foam blocks will help seal out air and noise. Insert the foam block into the arm of the support bracket and push them down to seal the gap. If the window doesn't seal properly, add additional foam at the bottom to elevate the AC unit and ensure a tight fit. And don't forget to seal the top gap between the upper window sash and the AC unit. Apply foam insulation here to prevent air leakage and maintain efficiency. Sealing the top gap is just as important as sealing the sides and bottom. I'm not going to secure this window because this is on the second story, so I doubt really somebody's going to climb up here to break in. These locks prevent the window from being opened from the outside, adding extra security. Remove the screws on the anti-tip bracket. Extend it to fit into the window track and reinsert the screws to secure the bracket in place. This prevent the unit from tipping. And now it's time to plug in the AC unit. Make sure the power cord isn't stretched too tightly and is safely away from any water source. Turning on the AC unit using the power button, listen for any unusual noise and make sure it starts cooling effectively. All right, so now for the moment of truth, we'll find out exactly how loud this AC unit is on the box. It says 32 decibels, I have my doubt since well, the ambient noise in this room was 37 decibels, so it almost has to be a little bit more than that. But maybe if they cancel out the, I don't know where they got their calculation, but even if it's only 50 decibels or 55, it's very quiet. Now, let's check this out. We'll try it out with the AC turned on low and also turned on high. See if there's a noticeable difference now. Mode cooling fan is at low. That's pretty quiet. Standing about six feet away, 45 decibels. You could be sleeping right beside it. And it sounds just like a fan. It doesn't sound like that noise that an AC unit makes because of the actual compressor or condenser is outside. Let's try it with the fan on full blast. All right, so around 53 decibels at high. Again, it doesn't sound like an air conditioner. It sounds more just like a fan on high. So if you're looking for an air conditioner that's quite, well, quite quiet, then this would be the one. This is perfect for a small room, 8,000 BTUs. You can go for a little bit bigger, 12,000 BTUs. I'll have links in the description below of this unit and the bigger one also. So you can choose which one that you want. For what it is, it's not that expensive. It feels more like a mini split than a window AC unit. If you want to soundproof the window, after you've installed an air conditioner, watch this video right here. It'll help you out quite a lot. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, assuming you subscribed.